was very disappointed not to be called to number 10 down in the street. I'd been expecting a call, but none came through at all. Most upsetting, I was Shadow Minister of Nudism. <laughs> it's a wonderful post designed to promote nudism throughout the world and with it peace. Peace and nudism go hand in hand, you see. <laughs> War and nudism do not mix. You've never had a war ever started by a nudist. <laughs> There's no nudist ever who started a war, and that's why nudism is such an important thing to get over. There's been some wonderful nudists about, you know. Um, Christoph, he was a nudist, and that's why he had to go, because the anti-nudist faction in the Kremlin... Uh, got at him. Oh, Khrushchev used to wander about the Kremlin with nothing on, <laughs> wearing only a little chain of daisies. He used to <laughs> humming Tchaikovsky all the time, just around about midnight. And lovely sight, a little chubby man with nothing on, wandering around with the daisies dangling round his neck. And Mr. Mikoyan was an anti-nudist, you see, and saw Khrushchev disappearing round the corner. So he called the Presidium and they got rid of him. It's a great shame. Of course, Kasigin and Brezhnev, they're anti-nudists. They never take their clothes off at all. They're appalling people. They take their bath with their clothes on. If I did become Minister of Nudism, though, I'd be allowed to be on television every evening round about 9.30. I'd come on and say, good evening. This, this is the Minister of Nudism. Take off your clothes and begin to dance about. And everybody in the world would start dancing about with nothing on. And if you didn't, special inspectors would come round <laughs> and tear your clothes off and fine you a thousand pounds for every article of clothes you're wearing. I wish I could get into the government. I've been trying for a very long time, you know. I tried during the war. I had quite a lot of influence during the war, although I wasn't in the government. A lot of my policies were adopted. I used to write to Winston Churchill and tell him what was going on. I said, uh, right at the beginning of the war, I said, the people to get to the Bosch. Beat the Germans and the war's over. <laughs> and I said, the man behind the Germans is Adolf Hitler. Once you kill Hitler, you're nothing. And eventually, after about six years, he took my advice. At the end of the war, I didn't get much credit for it. The idea of beating the Germans was all mine. But at the end, you didn't see me waving from the balconies. You didn't see me driving through in golden coaches through the cheering crowds. But I'd like to have had some recognition. I've written a little poem about international nudism. It's a lovely little poem. It's, if all the world were nudists, if all the world were bare, Everyone would live in peace. No war would they declare. If everyone went dancing around with nothing on, everybody would be happy as a person I know called John. <laughs> I don't actually know anybody called John. I just, <laughs> I just put that in for the rhyme. It's poet's license. I hope very much that they will call me to Downing Street, but... Um, I've been standing by for years now and nobody has. 